When I work, I look for four things. Nice shoes, a nice watch, two cell phones, and a gentleman who drinks tequila piñasco. Tequila piñasco, 100% pure blue Weber agave. A delicious, smooth, flavorful tequila. A proud Arizona company. Tequila piñasco, rich in tradition, straight from tequila's birthplace. It's time to discover a new tradition. Tequila piñasco, discover the difference. Visit tequilapiñasco.com. So we just finished the restaurant challenge and I'm extremely stoked because I know that my team <laughs> nailed it. Welcome back ladies to Strip Search Phoenix. So now I'm like, okay, what's the next thing we're doing? Hmm. Now I know you all want to know what your next assignment's going to be, but first, there's something we need to discuss. You may have noticed that we're missing a few people. I'm definitely glad that Sasha's gone. That kind of stuff is a little wah, wah, wah to me. Just because personally, she was too much to handle for me. <laughs> glad Asia's gone. You don't need to look at the other choice. This is it, boo. Just because a lot of people are more comfortable being themselves now that she's not in the house. Part of this show is about finding the right person that can make the transition from your career into the corporate world. We are looking for people that are committed to making a change and moving forward. You know, not everyone's cut out to progress in their life. Some people are better staying where they're at. It's not easy making the change from your world into the corporate world. As we've discussed before, people have preconceived notions about what you do and the club. They don't know if you can cut it in corporate America. The, the week? Oh, the week definitely can't cut it. That's why the, the door will hit them when the good Lord split them. Keep it moving. Not everyone was asked back, but we have had a success. Erica has been accepted to law school at ASU. I am going to law school. We are supporting her, and in doing so, she will join her team to help out with the next assignment as much as she can. However, she is not exempt. In the internal vote, she can still get the pink slip at any time. We are looking for women with business aptitude, leadership, and innovation for corporate America. Oh, I'm going to the end. I'm gonna be the last person standing in the house, in the big house by myself, in the last day, claiming my prize, because the strong survive, and that's me. <laughs> Do you think you have what it takes? Absolutely, yes. yeah. no brainer. Uh, it, it would be easy for me to win it, just because um, if you have control of these girls, you know, I know who to get rid of here, I know who to talk to here, and I know who they're going to get rid of there. It's already been controlled. As you know, we are very serious about finding somebody who wants to take this opportunity. I'd like to introduce to you a new member coming to the show, Lauren. What the f is this? Surprise! Bringing on a new girl. They're bringing, they're bringing on a new girl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Welcome, Hi. Lauren. Dun, dun, dun. Honestly? Huh. Okay, new girl walks in. Wow. I thought it was a joke. I really did. I thought maybe she had a, a costume on. Join your other cast members. How's it going? I thought maybe she was going to start taking pieces off because I was just ex extremely shocked on what came in the house. Hey, guys, how are you guys in the house? Um, I'm good. I'm what club a you little come awkward. From? I don't believe it. I think it's a decoy or something because it's not realistic at all. How old are you? Almost 30. Are you? Dear Lord. What makes you think um, that you're ready for this competition? Because, <laughs> um, honestly, I could give two shits 
what anybody thinks of me. Have you ever worked a regular job or considered business? Oh yeah, as I've been bartending. I've served in but bartending's not like for corporate America. Time. So it's well, no, time. but I mean, I grew up in a business family, and you know, I have a I have a handle on how the business world works. Then the new girl comes in, telling us how things work. Like you're not even relevant. Welcome. 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 That was a fun. We've spent a lot of time with each other, so you need to kiss a little ass, and I got enough of it for her to kiss by myself before anything you say matters, even a little bit. So for the record, Lauren, you ready to join corporate America? Absolutely. Well, the competition's going to be stiff. I'm ready. You never know. She's a new girl, so she has to go through her little initiation process. Ugh. Whatever, Terry, just go on. And I'm like, well, wait a minute, I put in a lot of work. But I look at it from a competition business standpoint, it's like, well, it's no threat to me. Well, ladies, in your last assignment, you were asked to run a restaurant. Heck yeah, the last one was a breeze. Bring this one on. Now, on our website, stripsearchtv.com, we asked our viewers to vote on who they thought did the best job. Erica won. Oh. Miss Law School. So Erica will be getting a full day at the spa at one of the five-star resorts here in the valley. So congratulations, Erica, on her day at the spa. It doesn't make sense, Terry, if Erica won, she did the best in competition, so she wins, but she's not here. Do you really, I don't know, does she really belong on the show if she can't even show up for a simple filming? Because she has law school? Well, ladies, to answer that very simply, she was part of the first show, and it was our viewers that voted. Yeah. Politics is stupid. Leading into your next assignment, we have a challenge for you, and the challenge is going to be chess. <clears throat> hmm. I should have played that damn chess set my cousin got me when I was eight. Man, chess is not my strong suit. But the winner of the chess match will gain the advantage on your next assignment. I wish I would have played that when I was younger. Very excited, because I've been playing chess since I was a kid. My dad taught me. You know what? Chess is a and game I'm of kings. Well, so I'm a queen, so what game is that? Yeah. Chess is fun. It reminds me of my little boy, because he loves to play chess. I played softball for the first time last Monday, and I hit the ball to second base for the first time I ever bring this chess game on. I can this. <laughs> Ladies, you have your new teams, and I want you to pick who will be your player for the chess match. I also want you to think of a name for your new teams. You're going to be playing your chess game here at the house, and I will see you back at the forum where you'll be given your next assignment. Sounds good. Thank awesome. you. Thank you. See you later. That's good. He might be somebody's baby's daddy before the end of the show. What should our team name be? So girls, what are you thinking about a team name? Let's just let's just stick with just Team A. We keep it freaking simple. I was thinking like, <laughs> since they made such a reference to the Queen piece, that we should be like the Queenies Queen or something. All right, let's move be funny for Terry to say because he's Canadian. Um, Canadian, he says in the house. This will be so embarrassing for him. A boat? A, yeah. We like messing with Terry and finding out Terry was from Canada was probably the best thing ever. Um, team A, Team A, how about you A? Team A. I'm kind of cheesy, I'm kind of corny. <laughs> so we have, you're saying Queen Bees, you're queen saying Queenies. How about we go with Queen B since the previous episode totally. we were Team B. Totally. So now we have the chess theme and our name still behind it. All right, so now, Kimber, give us a little rundown about how this works. I don't even know what this means. Okay. I don't know anything about chess except for what the names are of each of the things. Yeah, no, so it's for chess, um, each of these pieces are like your main pieces you're gonna work with. Uh, they're repeated on the other side too, so. But what do I do? Because I'm Kimber, I sit there and I say, oh, okay, cool, oh, chess, yeah, that'll be fun. In my mind, I'm going a million miles a minute. I'm like, okay, how do we do this? How are we gonna pull this off? These are good for a uh, little, if you need to make a move um, to carry you through the next one. Well, thank God for Kimber. Wait, the second one? Should I come the second one? The, the huge chess piece match at the end of it? I don't remember. 
fake it till you make it. Because back watched. in the olden days, they used to like say it by numbers and rows. And right, yes. Say it. I am a stable person, and in a competition, you need stability. Like, you need to have someone that's going to be consistent all the time. So you two know how to play chess? Because I've never yes. played a day I, in my life. I plan on rocking the crap out of that chess board. Okay, that's and awesome. I love your confidence. We had to tell Cameron Lee in, you know, a way that she would understand it. So the king is your customer. Okay. And the queen on the other side is trying to get your king. We basically just used the chess pieces and turned them into strip club characters. And you've got all your little homies that are, you know, with you on okay, your side. Okay, so the pawns in front are the other girls at work. Yeah, yeah and, they're, and the ones that are on your side, they're and helping you protect you. Yeah. I thought it was pretty entertaining. The, sure. the bishop or your doorman? Oh yeah, which I actually started to understand how to play it, but everything in life sometimes was explained in those terms. I could be like CEO right now of somewhere. You want to capture the other, you want to capture her customer. She tried to okay, get so her. Okay, so I'm taking her. Customer. I need to go over there and take her yeah. game. Okay. She's trying to get your customer. So I need to show her who's really customer. boss and who's really good at this hustle, and that's me. I mean, if it's in stripper terms, done. And on the other, so on the other team, those pawns are trying to come and take All my customer. That, and I need to protect the my customer. After you. So, okay. I so. think I can follow now. Just don't crack under pressure. Please, hmm. please don't. I don't like losing. I, I'm not going to let you guys down, I promise. Cool. Lovely. Well, welcome to our team. Yay! Let's do this. When I work, I look for four things. Nice shoes, a nice watch, two cell phones, and a gentleman who drinks tequila piñasco. Tequila piñasco, 100% pure blue Weber agave. A delicious, smooth, flavorful tequila. A proud Arizona company. Tequila piñasco, rich in tradition, straight from tequila's birthplace. It's time to discover a new tradition. Tequila piñasco, discover the difference. Visit tequilapiñasco.com 